I'll be showing 11 tips and tricks to the just released Windows 11 23H2 update, which is rolling out now. This will include new features as well as updates to existing Windows 11 capabilities. So let's get started. The first new feature is screen recording, including audio with the snipping tool in Windows 11. So I'm gonna open up the start menu and open up the snipping tool. So start and snip, there it is. Here's the snipping tool. Now I'm gonna set this to video. This is the new option for screen recording. So I'm gonna snip there for the video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna video myself and narrating a OneNote video. So I'm gonna open up OneNote here, pull the little snip forward, and now hit new. It puts the screen into this mode. Now I'm just gonna click and drag the square of what I want to record on my screen. So I just want to do the OneNote window here. Now up at the top, there is a little microphone icon. I drop this down and uncheck mute. So now it's set. And this is gonna be recording my Yeti microphone. That's what I use to do my audio. So now we're all set, I'll click start. And now I'm gonna start doing my video and audio recording. So I'm gonna select a pen right here. We're gonna draw a nice little square on the TPS report. We'll click the ruler and maybe we'll add a little bit of highlighting. Okay, my video is all done. So at the top, I will click the stop button. Now this has popped right into a new video window. So I'm gonna scroll this down and minimize OneNote. There's my snipping tool video. I'm just gonna hit play and let's listen. So there's what I was doing. My video is right there. So it's super easy to make audio and video recording with the new snipping tool. The second new feature is tabs in Windows Explorer. So I'll do Windows key E to launch Explorer. And you're gonna see the normal Explorer right here. But what I'm gonna do is click on the plus and I can make a new tab. So if I wanna go down and switch to a different folder, let's say I wanna to switch to this folder here. I've got some nice images. I can open up a new tab and go to a different folder in Explorer. This allows you to really quickly have lots of tabs open, sort of like a browser, and switch between different folders. The third new feature is another tabbing addition, and that is to Notepad. So I'm gonna open the Start menu and we'll launch Notepad here. So here is your good friend Notepad, tried and true. Well, you're gonna see there's a little plus here to add tabs. So I can easily add tabs in Notepad and I can be taking lots of different sets of notes. So let's say I've got some things right here. I wanna to go to a different tab. I'm gonna be taking notes about whatever or pasting content in here. Really easy to switch back and forth. And I can save each of these as well. The fourth new feature is layers in Microsoft Paint. I've got Microsoft Paint open here and historically layers is more of a fancy feature in places like Photoshop. Now layers is in Microsoft Paint. Over here on the right, you're gonna see this layers option and I'm gonna click this. Here is a nice image of the old school Windows XP desktop background. Now I wanna add some layers onto this picture so I can work with it better. First, I'm gonna grab a nice image of Clippy. I've got my image of Clippy and over on the right, I will click plus to add a new layer. And here is that new layer. What I'm gonna do is do paste and it adds Clippy over here on the right to the layered image and it's on the image. Now I can drag this over. We're gonna move Clippy right here. Now I wanna add another layer and I will click plus. Now I'm gonna go grab a modern Copilot logo because some people say Copilot is the modern Clippy. So let's go get that. I've got my Copilot image and I'll do control V to paste. There's my Copilot image and I'm gonna drag that onto my Windows XP desktop background. Over on the right, you're gonna see these three different layers and I can hide and show each one. If I wanna hide Windows XP desktop, I'm just gonna click this, the little eye, and I've hidden it. I can hide Clippy, now I just have this logo and if I wanna work and do paint and text and images or whatever I want, I can work on that layer. I can easily show these as I go like this. You can also arrange the order of the layers. So if I wanna have the Copilot logo be on the bottom layer here underneath Clippy, I can just drag drop. You can also right click and say move up and down. You can easily delete a layer. You can duplicate a layer and then you can also merge down. So let's say I'm getting ready. My photo is finished here. I've added whatever touches I want. I'll select Clippy, right click and say merge down and it merges Clippy into the Copilot layer. So if I just want to have those two on a layer, now I can do that. And if I want to merge the whole thing, I can merge it down just like that. And when you're all done, you can just save this just like you've done in the past. And if I undo, it'll pop me right back to where I was before. The fifth new feature is dark mode in Microsoft Paint. So in the upper right, I will click settings and there is some different themes you can choose. I'm gonna choose dark mode. Ooh, that's really nice. Got a little Darth Vader vibe going on here. And the sixth feature is co-creation with AI and paint. And we're gonna do some co-creation with AI and Darth Vader. So I will go on to co-creator right here. 
and it says describe what you'd like to create. And this is just like some of the generative AI you've probably seen like Dolly. What I'll do here is have a picture of Darth Vader in a nice green meadow. And you can choose a style. So I will choose a selection here. I can do oil painting, watercolor, digital art. I'm gonna do an oil painting of our good friend Darth Vader. Now at the bottom, you can click create right here. And note, there's a little set of tokens. I'll click create. It's gonna go and start thinking about this and it's gonna generate me a nice picture. It's gonna explore some variants, so I'll get a few different options. Oh, there we go, look at this one. Darth Vader, little oil painting and a nice grassy field. Oh, that one, he looks a little more mean in that one, a little tougher Darth Vader. And here's one, he's sort of got that looking off in the distance view for Darth Vader. So a couple of options. I think I like this one best, the mean Darth Vader. I'm just gonna go up and crop it. And now my beautiful co-created image in Microsoft Paint is ready to save and share. Co-creator in Microsoft Paint is in preview like you see here. It's also powered by Dolly. So right here it's powered by Dolly and the nice thing about Dolly is it's always getting better. Dolly 3 just came out recently and you can expect more improvements here in the future. The seventh new feature is improvements to the built-in chat in Windows 11. This has been renamed to Microsoft Teams, and this is the free version of Teams for consumers, and this is now just a pre-pinned app. So right here, it's the Microsoft Teams app. It's no longer chat, but we've also made some improvements to simplify how easy it is to get started using it. If I click here, it's gonna launch, and now there's a nice little one-click meet, chat, or people. You can also sync your contacts, as well as link your phone. I'm not gonna show my personal contacts here, but I'm gonna switch over to an example version of what it looks like, so it's very easy to launch a meeting or chat or interact with people. I'll just click meet right here, and this lets me meet. Hey, there's my camera, I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna say start meeting. And now if I was gonna meet with someone, there's my connection, and we'll hit leave. This experience is now rolling out with the Windows 11, 23H2 update, so just a simplified version, and also just to reiterate, it's been renamed Microsoft Teams instead of chat. The eighth new feature is an expanded widgets area. So in the lower left, you have your widgets. I'm gonna launch this, this is weather right now, but I'm gonna open it up and I've got a bunch of new options. It's now three panes wide, like you see right here. There are a bunch of options right there. I can see who I'm following. If you're following different things, it'll show up here, what you're gonna watch and play. And so lots of different options in terms of your widgets. We've also added new ones for Spotify in particular. There's a couple of others. So if you want to add widgets, now you can add Spotify. So I've added Spotify right here and I've pinned it. There's lots of different things you can explore. This is New Music Friday today, so some options going on here. If I want to go and make it bigger, I go hit large. Now I've got a bigger Spotify widget. I've also got things like NFL that I've pinned, so the latest games. You can have your stock, traffic, all these other options right here in widgets. So now it is expanded, it's wider, and there are new options. The ninth new feature is background blur in the built-in photos app in Windows 11. I've got a nice picture of my dog right here and I wanna blur the background. So you're gonna to go to the edit in the top right here and click edit image. And there's a new option right here, background blur. We'll click this. And now what I can do, it has it at 50%, I can even experiment with the type of blur. So if I want just a little bit of blur, I can go there and you can see it getting more blurry. I want to do maximum blur up to 100, I can do that. Let's say that the apps are looking for 100% blur, hit apply, there we go. Real quick and easy background blur to any image you want. The 10th new feature is improvements to the power and battery settings to make Windows more energy sustainable in an easy way. I'm gonna launch settings by doing Windows key and I, now I'm gonna to go to system on the left and then go and choose power and battery right here. Right here you're gonna see energy recommendations. Lower your carbon footprint by adding these recommendations. I'm gonna click this and all of these are brought into one nice place. And you can see, oh, I could turn on dark mode to help with power and battery, put my device to sleep after three minutes and I can apply each one of these. I could also just go and hit apply all to make it really easy, so let's do this. Okay, now my laptop is in the maximum state to help with saving energy. So really easy, literally one click to do that. The 11th new feature are additions to languages for live captions in Windows 11. This is a feature that is great for deaf and hard of hearing or people that just need captioning on any type of audio or video content playing in Windows. So I'm gonna go to accessibility here and we're gonna scroll down to the hearing area and choose captions. This is an option I've showed in a previous video. So if I'm playing a video here on Windows and I turn on live captions, it will automatically caption things. So I'm gonna pull up a video right here. 
and we're going to hit play so you can see that it's captioning. I can go to settings and I can position it above the screen. So now it's up top. So this can caption anything in real time. You can also though hit the settings gear and now you can say caption language and you can add different languages. And we support a bunch of new languages starting now. This includes Chinese, both simplified and traditional, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, both Brazil and Portugal, Spanish, Danish, and Korean. So a bunch of new languages to make it even more inclusive to use live captioning in Windows 11. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.